he was like a quiet quiet warrior I guess he was just always positive like he's just gonna make it through this yesterday yesterday was um, the final day that I got to see my husband and give him his final wish which is to have a full military honors burial. It was a beautiful day. And had he been there, he would have loved it. I have pleural mesothelioma in my left lung, which uh, I had a major surgery for in April of last year. I was a full-time ear, nose, throat physician, and that sort of abruptly ended uh, when I had my surgery. Okay. <laughs> I have follow-ups every three months. Kind of achy, you're gonna feel flu-like tonight. Yeah. Sore throat. I was born in 1948, so there was an asbestos and everything back then. Right just through my lifetime. But who knows where I picked it up from. There's outbuildings like chicken coops and there's a, you know, big sheds and then the barn. Well, it's been the family since the 1850s. And every two or three months we'd probably go up there. You know, it's just a kind of neat place to run around. I started experiencing some chest pain and uh, shortness of breath. And the pain got worse, so I ended up seeing the physician. And I kept telling him about the history of mesothelioma. And that I, th you know, I thought, this, maybe this could be mesothelioma. My brother died from it in 1999. And my sister had something similar in 2005, and they both died within six months. Uh, right before the surgery, he was like, you know, I'll give you better than a 90, 90, 99% chance it's going to be negative. And when I woke up, he said, well, your whole lung's covered with it. Callie, our oldest daughter, sat with me in the waiting room. As we sat there, we saw the doctors come and get the patients, and they were all uh, told about their loved one in the waiting room. And then when my surgeon came out, he motioned me to come to the little room. I remember he made me sit down and the wall was just a foot in front of me. And I knew right then that it wasn't good. And he said the cancer, that he had cancer and it was quite extensive and it covered the whole lung. I came out and I told Callie and we, we started crying in the hallway. My mom and I, we, we knew it was gonna, it was, it was probably gonna be mesothelioma. We knew that was a pretty strong possibility. So it wasn't, a huge shock, um, but it was still devastating to hear. When I found out, I thought it was like the end of the world because my dad has such a big impact on me for my whole entire life. He taught me how to hunt. He always takes me hunting. I just thought that was the beginning of the end until uh, I did the research and then, I mean, uh, I felt very hopeful. Now they have so many trials and the science has gotten better. So I went from very depressed to very hopeful. And so many times people say, you guys are so positive. And we're like, it, it won't be the end till the end because there's just so many things to try. Standard treatment, you don't want to do that. You want standard plus something extra. So uh, we chose to come to Philadelphia with the, uh, it's called a radical pleurectomy where instead of taking the lung out, they do a meticulous dissection. And because this is a cancer of the pleura of the lining of the lung, so they have to strip all that lining off. And uh, it's just like peeling an orange. So far it's worked. Today we're going to the uh, University of Pennsylvania Hospital um, where I'm gonna have a bronchoscopy and biopsy performed. 
I had an area of thickening just at the end of the left main bronchus. There was also uh, some funny looking tissue uh, on the wound on the side of my chest. They may take a biopsy of that too. So I hope to find out what this is and then we can get on with treatment for it. We're not trying to let it you know, take over our lives or anything. And it's just something that we're gonna work through and hopefully dad can stay around as long as he can. Day to day, we just keep going on as we normally have. We've been walking the city all these last four days just and been having fun and it's been great to, you know, spend some time with them.